Second coming! Big enough! Let's go! Holy f shit my wow. hair is a different color i told you guys if i got 10,000 instagram followers i would do this now i gotta cover that shit up anyways i am at 10,000 followers on instagram thank you so much but we have some bad news i don't know if you guys have seen i have seen because i live here in Pattaya, right next to good old mr connor murphy and dr tony huge himself but we have a bit of an issue or i should say connor murphy has a bit of an issue and you probably haven't heard for this guy from some time and probably good that you haven't this is the same guy who had mental breakdowns <laughs> what is happening i've gone literally mentally fucking insane fasted for something like a week and ate watermelon only. It just smells so good. I never thought watermelon could smell so good. Also ate a guy's semen to increase his own testosterone. Nikolai is going to give me his divine protein shake. Also just a bunch of weird stuff. While I'm doing this, I'm creating the intention I love you and projecting it onto the urine. So the urine is forming these cool little ice crystals. I drink it and I rub it on my body including my hair. But we have a couple articles by the Bataille News here, which are pretty crazy. So former fitness influencer Connor Murphy allegedly hits his girlfriend near Pattaya with a golf club. Says it's for social media content. What kind of social media content could that be? Well, I'm not quite sure. Maybe we'll never see that specific video. But the funny thing about this is it happened like literally <laughs> right next to me. And it's so crazy that I live here and this is like I'm by influencers at this point. But yeah, like here in Hoye sub-district of Pattaya, there was the homie beating up his girlfriend with a golf club. 30-year-old Connor Murphy beat his girlfriend with a golf club. Officers entered the house. According to the reports, they discovered blood splatters on the wall, a blood-stained golf club on the floor, and Murphy himself had sustained lacerations to his abdomen from broken glass. Murphy's 20-year-old Thai girlfriend and 16-year-old sister got hit and suffered minor injuries from this golf club. Insane. Over 10 police Police officers surrounded the house as Murphy had locked himself in the bathroom. Friends and officers tried to coax him out, which took nearly an hour, and once calm, he was eventually taken to a local hostel for treatment. His girlfriend told the Hoye police that she had been falling asleep and she heard the sound of breaking glass and objects falling. She then found Murphy acting violently, shouting and bleeding. Murphy then allegedly attacked her with a golf club, forcing her to flee into her sister's room. And then she had no idea what to do or what triggered his outburst. And then the couple's housekeeper. 55 year old told the Hoye police that she received a line message from his girlfriend asking for help. The message stated that her boyfriend was going berserk. And then here's what's really, really, really interesting is we get old Connor Murphy, the guy who was tripping on psychedelics for some period of time and then made a video about possibly himself. I know exactly how to do it. I realize why the bathtub feels so amazing because it's trying to tell me something. It's trying to reach out and say you can be at peace here in the bathtub. Claims that this incident was not an actual assault. Rather, I could just like hear him saying this. But rather, sir, it was a act per social media and YouTube content. Because here he says it was for YouTube and Instagram content creation. Oye police, however, were very skeptical and stated to the Thai media that CCTV footage they reviewed in and around the villa doesn't seem to support this premise. The footage has not been released to the press, however. I really want to see that footage, but Thai police don't like to show much of what's happening on the inside. What's really interesting about this is what is going to happen to Connor. There's two kind of stories I want to diverge into. One is the ah! Void Rage subject, which I was talking about in a previous video with another guy here in Pattaya that caused havoc in a gym that we go to, everyone goes to, Muscle Factory. He abused a girl in the lobby because he was trying to flirt with her, and the Thai girl didn't want anything to do with him, so he threw her on the ground. In this instance, we have Connor Murphy, who is supposedly a fake natty. We actually don't know. He could be taking the Sazul. He could be not. I don't think he is now because he's really shriveled up and tiny. He's just kind of lean. But the dude definitely has some psychological issues. I might be crazy. I'm definitely crazy. 
And so two things, right? One, what's going to happen to Connor Murphy? I believe 100% without a doubt, he's going to get kicked out of Thailand for sure. Thai police do not give a flying shit. If you are white and you do anything heinous like this, you're out. It's over. Get out of my car now. Like full out, likely getting charged a copious amount of money and being permanently banned from the country at large. Sucks for him, but probably good in the first place. We call those people Farangs here in Thailand. <laughs> Hopefully, he goes back to the country of origin, which I believe is the United States, and absolutely gets f***ed. I want this dude to get absolutely charged up to ass. He beat a 16-year-old with a golf club. That's not something to glance over by any scope of practice. The second part of this is, what was this caused by? Was he trying to record social media content? Well, absolutely not. He's pulled this done before where the... S word video that he made was definitely real and he continued to claim that it was a complete acting scene it was for some movie that he was trying out for and it was all just a joke and funny haha guys this is just acting it's kind of like the same stunt he's pulling here. Why would he rage like this? Well, it wasn't because of steroids. And this kind of leads itself to my point that I made in that prior video about the other bodybuilder throwing that girl to the ground. And that point was that steroids don't make a man abusive. They just make an abusive man more aggressive. And at the end of the day, what we're seeing here is a continuation of that. We know Connor Murphy has abused psychedelics, altered his brain chemistry more than likely for what is permanent permanent and is not in a good mental place and was really never in a good mental place. And he came here to Pattaya to escape the Western media and fell in love with some Thai girls like a lot of white dudes do when they get here. And to be honest, it's kind of predatorial of the Thai women, but that's a whole nother conversation. And now he's ended up in this predicament. It wasn't because of steroids. It wasn't because of any sort of pharmaceutical drug that he was taking outside of possible hallucinogens. What it was, was simply a a delusionary man doing dumb, stupid shit to women. And I hate that this happens to so many people in the fitness community. I think the fitness community is a $30 billion industry. And so it's very easy to inflate on media because it's happening in many other places that for sure are much worse than the fitness industry. But it does give a bad rap to dudes with lots of muscle. And so here we are again in the same state where people are going to pull up pictures and they sure already have of Connor when he was really jacked and use those as examples of like, you know, roid head goes crazy berserk on a woman. And that's kind of what they use in these articles. And it's honestly really unfortunate for me, someone who lives in Pattaya or Thailand at large, because in these articles, the titles are berserk American injures a whole family. Like that sounds awful. A berserk fitness influencer from America, violent outburst from American. These sort of titles really trigger a lot of people here in Thailand or the locals. And to be all fair, like it should, there's a lot of shitty Americans here. I actually hate Americans now that have come here because I've seen how dirty and scummy and just awful you guys can be. It's not everybody, but there's a large population of people in the United States who come here expecting to just escape everything and be able to s women. And it's just like a whole other topic in and of itself. It's f***ed up. But where I was going with this is it depicts a really bad image for people like myself who come here in complete peace, live in isolation in this like random house in a villa, you know, completely out of town and more than happily donate my money to everyone around me to support their locals here and, and hopefully give them more of a leverage in life. And it sucks. It sucks. As well as at large, just everyone's starting to think that the fitness influencers in our circle could be delusional, could be abused could be threatening and I think that's something that the bodybuilding industry defeated a long time ago and now it sort of has this resurgence with a lot of these events happening and it's um yeah it's just really unfortunate you know New York banned any supplement for anyone under 18 to buy for instance creatine because it promotes muscle building and that's seen as bad in New York State pediatricians do not recommend teenagers use the muscle building supplement creatine you know that's a bit concerning to me what's the next level of that right Right? And, and why do we deem a completely endogenously produced amino acid as a illegal substance for, for a child to take? I, I don't know. I really don't know. It's kind of interesting. But anywho, you tell me what you guys think down below. Is Connor Murphy an absolute dickhead? Or is this because he took some sort of pharmaceutical drug? What do you think happened? And do you think bodybuilders have roid rage? Or is this just another coincidence that unfortunately hits us in the news shortly after the last one?